What's up guys? Before we get started in this video, um, I want to apologize for the wind noise. I picked a very bad location on the dealership lot, freeway right behind me, and then it was a windy day. Try my best to get the audio as clear as possible. Um, man, it was just crazy. Way too much wind noise. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I know better next time. Next time to pick a better location. Definitely won't be in front of the freeway. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next one, we out. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. What's up guys? Before we get started, first of all, I want to thank the Almighty God for making this happen because without him, none of this would be possible. And I also want to give a special shout out to Wayne and El Dorado Mazda of McKinney, Texas for putting this all together for me. Thank you, man. So if you ever look looking for a new Mazda, whatever you want, we got the Miata here, we got the Mazda 6, we got the Mazda 3, which we're going to be covering later. We got all of that here. So whenever you're looking for the new Mazda, go ahead up Wayne and El Dorado Mazda McKinney, Texas. As you can see in front of me, we got the 2020 Mazda Miata MX-5 RCL. Beautiful car. This one here is in the um, liquid red crystal. I think that's what they call it. No, soul red crystal. It's a beautiful color. I think it's one of the best looking colors on just about any vehicle, period. Gorgeous color. If you like red, those deep tones, it's the color that you want to get. Mazda with the Miata has been able to accomplish what a lot of manufacturers have failed to accomplish. Add fun, lightness, affordability, fun to drive, sports car that everybody can enjoy. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I've always liked the Miata, but I never actually took a look at it until, um, it's going to sound funny, but Need for Speed Underground Heat. On that particular game, the Mazda Miata is a beast. Now, I've always seen on uh, tracks where the Miata Miata is killing other cars. You know, on tracks, they're destroying uh, Ford Mustangs and Camaros and Ferraris, and they're killing them, right? But I've always seen that on track. But I guess, you know, it's, it's kind of funny that the video game helped put that in perspective for me. Um, it's a monster, so if you play Need for Speed Heat, gotta check out that monster Miata. But in front of me is the real thing. 181 horsepower, 151 pound-feet of torque, fun to drive. Also, even though the car has been, you know, kept kind of simple, the car still comes with a ton of features. Rear view camera, you have lane departure warning, you have um, blind spot warning, you have lane keeping assist, you also have the braking assist for in case when you're in traffic and the car would have to brake before you get ready. I mean, all of this is standard with the Monster Miata. That's crazy. But on top of that, you know, the car is it's a beautiful, beautiful car. From the lines, you can see, you know, I'm a stylish person. I think a car should be beautiful to look at. I think um, when you're walking away from a car, you know, sometimes you just look back over your shoulder. You want to be like, dang, that's a sexy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think a car should be. And the Miata, Hits that on the head. Very, very beautiful car. You got the lines here that when you're sitting in the driver's seat, the lines here that it creates here, it kind of look like you're riding on the back of a tiger and the shoulders are bulged and it's just ready to strike. That's one of the things that I love about this car. What we want to take a look at now is the soul and heart of the Mini Beast. I'm calling it a Mini Beast because it's a Mazda Miata. One of the best handling cars that you can get. And there's a lot of aftermarket support. So everything's from everything from turbo superchargers to even adding a V8 and getting suspension right so you can go out of crossing or taking it to the track. The Mazda Miata, for those that don't know, is a very, very capable platform. What we have here 
It's a 2.0 Sky Active G, the soul of the beast. 181 horsepower, 151 pound feet of torque, a pure love right here. That also tell you that the RPM has been raised to 7,500, up from 6,800 from the 2018s. So that gives you a little bit more rev. That's partly where the extra horsepower come from and some other internal things that they did. But it's a very beautiful engine layout. As you can see, it's just so much space. So much space. It's just so beautiful. Simple, light. Also, you can tell the front of the engine is right here, sort of in line with the front axle, which means, which tells you that the engine is being pushed rearward, so it's kind of a front engine, kind of a front mid-engine layout. Actually, that's what we're going to call it, a front mid-engine layout. That's exactly what it is. And it helps with weight distribution. Even with the addition of the RCF, which is the retractable fastback, it still keeps its perfect weight distribution of 50-50. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car.